George McKenzie was buried here 144 years ago, but his final resting place isn't exactly what it used to be. What's left of the Champion Macedonia Cemetery is an L-shaped grove of trees surrounded by warehouses and car dealerships and one of the world's busiest freeways. A few years ago, neglected behind thickets and thorns, not that many people even knew it was still here. It's been a labor of love. Because Jackie Shaw helped this happen. Volunteers cut and chopped and scoured and cleaned. Brings me so much joy, just so much joy. To give the graves, most of them nameless, marked with sticks and stones, the honor their legacy deserves. You know, all God's children are just coming together and saying, how can we help? But fully restoring this black cemetery needed one more champion. Her name is Victoria. It looks so good. As a Girl Scout project, she raised $19,000 to replace chain link with a proper iron fence, signs to mark the cemetery's existence, and crosses for every nameless soul. And seeing all of them, it's a sea of white crosses. It's, it's beautiful that people finally have an identity that can be recognized. And on a cold January Saturday morning when they dedicated the cemetery again, Victoria had one more gift. A violin and the black national anthem lift every voice and sing, played for the living and for the dead. And recognize that where I'm at and where I'm going is all because of the people who are buried here today. It has been refreshing for a young person to want to come and preserve history. As modern descendants still choose this as their final resting place, there is still more work to do, more improvements to be made. But in honoring ancestors like George McKenzie, a man born a slave but who died free, he was Victoria a sees a worthy resurrected message. Despite your circumstances, despite where you may be or where you have been, lift your voice because there is something to be proud of. The passage of time and the pressure of a modern world can't erase that.